that I'm not, to be honest, I'm not worried about America facing England at all. I know that might sound mean, but to me, England, if we have our best team out, fit enough, and we're taking, we don't be over cocky, we will probably easily sail through America, USA, quite easily. And my particular, like I said, if we don't get any energies and um, we get a bit lucky and hopefully don't get penalties <laughs> and um, we c I do believe that we can win the World Cup I honest from my heart from my heart I believe that we can win the World Cup with, in South Africa this year in 2010 I honest believe that not because I'm because we all do this. I honestly believe that this year I've just got I had a weird feeling when I said South Africa. I had a weird feeling because we are known for three lines and it is the home of the lions. I had this weird feeling that we will win it in South Africa. I just had this weird feeling when I first found that it was being South Africa. Don't know, but I just had this weird feeling. What I was no what I was glad about to hear that that the grit of death was quite funny to see that as you didn't know. The crew of death is Brazil, Ivory Coast, uh, North, I think it's North Korea, and Portugal. <laughs> and I was just, the, what, just, I was so happy that we see Portugal in the grip of death. I read, really, hopefully, dream come true that. What would happen is that Ivory Coast and North Korea qualify, knocking out both Brazil and England. But I know that ain't gonna happen. I know one of the big out uh, of those two teams, Brazil or Portugal, won't get a free club. I almost believe that Ivory Coast will somehow, would most likely, will come second in that group and will not be surprised and knock out one of the tops of Brazil. And I really honest believe it would be Portugal will be knocked out. Well, Honest, so I finish with that. The final thing I'm going to talk about before I sign off and let you have your freedom, Mac, it's about Manchester United winning their skipper in the past 20 years. Finally, got what, is it, is what I believe he should have served for, for the past three years at the moment, the way he's been playing. And you don't know what I'm talking about. That Every once a year in Britain, we have basically a celebration for sport awards, for all kind of fight, people, charities, sport rules, get rules for people doing charity for sport. Also, for what play, like the youngsters coming through lifetime achievements awards in sport, people who sadly no longer with us, blah blah blah, overseas awards, and then we have the then we have one award, basically the personality of the year, basically in all every other sport, every single sport gets picked one person and you have to choose who you who you believe should win it. And what most people believe this year will be Jason Button, who as you know won the F1 championship from the team that cut about the start of the season and didn't insist it because it's longer and short. It used to be known as Honda, but they pulled out, leaving Button and Barrico, who were the two drivers, and the whole producer team were known, or well, pretty sure they were known as Arrows, but were basically left with no job, and then basically Ross Braun and Furton walked in, helped basically set up money so they could run the team, and like, kind of like a hot first story, they won the championship, and won the team championship and Burton won the driver's championship and everyone thought Burton will win the Port Panty of the year but he came second and the person who won it what made me so happy was Manchester United's own the, the oldest ringer Ryan Geeks and to be honest I believe he deserved it because if you've been watching the Premiership and football the way he's been running and he's about 35 and he's still out, and he's outrun like the kids are like 20. Just gone through them like he was like 20. He was like 20. Is he run the the court like 10 or 20, like 10 or 20 years to the beginning of his career? Like the same way he was doing that back then, even though he's doing now. 
and for him to be like that age and do it, it's just amazing. Well, <laughs> I hope you've been listening. Hope you stayed along with the long chat. But hope you can on like the more like I said, review it. Tell me what you think. Give me ideas what to talk about. And I hope I see you in that episode too. Peace out.